so this was brought to my attention. I seen it some time ago. I seen it actually. Uh, dead Oklahoma team Noah Prosgrove relatives don't think it was an accident. So I'm going to play this. Then I'm going to break it down. Well, his poor family is trying to process all of this. And they talked about it with our Alex Capriello exclusively. Here's that interview. Ashley, it was an eye-opening experience speaking to the family of Noah Pressgrove. We went into great detail about the autopsy report that's now in their hands, what they think happened to Noah, and the frustration they feel from not getting direct answers from his friends. So blunt force trauma to the head, um, and, and your thoughts when reading that is that it's quite possible this might have been the hands of somebody else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's what's got me thinking that it was no accident, you know. He'd been just beat in the head so many times that it just, you know, and it, it couldn't have been by a car. Just once I saw his face, it's just, I just couldn't do it. So I have no idea all about the hair. I can tell it's still so fresh in your mind. Oh, yeah. It just won't go away, it won't. And these kids, they've been hanging out here for the last four or five years, you know, with that boy. And it's just, you know, hard to believe that you could have friends like that and they all just stabbing you in the back. I've talked to a few myself, only the close, closest ones that I, that I feel like I could, but not really getting nothing out of them. I mean, one of them, I've gotten a couple stories, two different stories out of his mouth, you know, and another one, I've gotten three different stories out of his mouth. So, you know, which story is true, you know? And in my heart, I just pray to God Jack has nothing to do with it, you know? I mean, because I love Jack. <sighs> you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Mahogany Jackson case where she was hanging around friends and we see videos. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that these people recorded videos and this mother is left grieving, dealing with one autopsy and had to go get a second one, in which I'm going to update you guys about it. But I like to say this is exactly like Mahogany Jackson. So when I say pain is relative, just because you're black don't mean that you're the only race going through something or don't mean that your pain is more severe than the next person. And we got to look at it like that. So this is just as serious as Mahogany Jackson. I will cover this case with just as much passion because it teaches us about humanity in itself. You know, but, you know, that was Noah's best friend. And where was he, you know? I mean, I hate to put that on him, but, you know, I just, it keeps going through my head. They've done wrong, they've done wrong, and they need to stand up and be a man and admit it, you know, regardless. I mean, if it was an accident, why didn't y'all just say it was and call 911? I have respect for the law enforcement, but I just feel like, um, I just don't feel like they're doing enough right now. I just. They're not giving right. us no information. They're not giving us no hope. And it would be nice to have a little hope. It's not going to go away, you know, until this is resolved. I, I just feel like is either these police officers are extremely lazy and don't want to do their job. And, you know, we as black people, we like, oh, police don't want to do a proper investigation of this death. And I even went through that particular situation. Or someone who's responsible for this has third party ties to law enforcement agents like one of the kids that did it is probably related to a police officer who has a relationship with the detective or whoever doing this investigation and this is how you get these botched autopsies of people and this family had a second autopsy after this was oh, reported we will not stop until it's resolved and that um uh, you know, and I'm hoping that, that it will put pressure on them, you know, to let's get busy and get this figured out, you know. And I'm hoping it will. And there you come and you tell me what happened to my grandson. Um, I ain't get, you can't get over it. And I don't even know if I'll get over it then, you know.
I've made repeated attempts to get in contact with detectives with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol to try to find out the latest on their investigation, but so far during my entire time here, I have yet to hear back. Ashley. Alex Capriello, thank you. And since the interview, we want to say this. We've obtained Noah's full autopsy report right down to the toxicology, and you might be surprised to find out what was not in Noah's system when he died. We're going to get to all of that tomorrow night right here on Banfield. And if you have any information on Noah Presgrove's death, please call the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Oh, my goodness. This is horrible. So just speed up. The family got a second autopsy and a second person to look into it. Noah was found on the highway completely butt naked um, and also blunt for his trauma. And he had on two mismatched shoes. Meaning that there's his shoe and the other shoe somewhere between the friends and what happened. And also it looked like they staged something. And why would you have them too many? It's what is giving is giving. And just hear me out because I don't want to make it about sexuality, but it's giving broke back mountain type of situation because apparently he went to a, floor, a party with friends and realized that his girlfriend was messing with another one of his friends and that they allegedly was in some type of relationship together. And, you know, like when these down low people, people that are not content with their sexuality, especially kids, when someone is outed, you know, when someone is outed, he, he could have been, oh, he having a mixed match shoe with this guy. And it's a joke. And now everything is coming to light that they're actually in a relationship together. And he has to prove that he's a man and everybody else could be homophobic in Oklahoma. Come on. And I think that there was gang raping probably happened in the second autopsy. They're still not saying, was he checked back there and did something happen back there? But for him to be bashed in the head so many times and butt naked on the highway with mismatched shoes is giving queer like a queer crime. That's what it's giving, even though he was with a girl there, you know, whatever. That's just my theory. I don't know. I absolutely don't. But I would love to cover the court case and follow up with any details about Noah. So if you have any information, please go ahead and email me. My email is denotrickets2 at iCloud.com. Also, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. And if you missed this live, make sure you check out my backup channel at Denot Reactions to enjoy the live show or else just catch the replay. Thank you.